about your murders and what led up to them. So can you describe your childhood for me? So my childhood was very rough from the beginning. I lived in a very poor family and my mom was a very abusive alcoholic. And one significant event that took place that really changed my whole life was when my mom was at a bar and did not have nearly enough money for the drinks that she so desired. And so she decided to trade me to a random stranger for three beers. And I eventually was raped and mistreated terribly. That's tough. Yeah. Um, so what would be some early, do you know if there's any early indications that you become a murderer? Well, I was neglected a lot and I was known, like I had sticky fingers because I loved to steal. And <laughs> I don't know, those are just my personality. So what's what's your education looking like? Little to none from the poor family I grew up in. I mean I barely even know how to read. Like give me that give me a piece of paper right there. I can't tell you a word on you. It looks like hieroglyphics. Lack of education. <laughs> How'd you find any jobs? Well, I really found it hard to find a job. I was just barely scraping to get jobs. I was fighting for money and it was really hard for me because I had to feed four children and one of which came from the guy who my mother sold, well, sold me to and I got raped and he impregnated me. And so I had to work as a maid starting off and I made little to no money and then I just, to provide for my family, I just started stealing and mugging people and ironically my elder my oldest son eventually got killed by a person who mugged him and it really makes you think about what you did weren't you a wrestler yeah i was i was also a famous wrestler and i don't know maybe that could contribute to my aggression that i had towards elderly women so during all this how'd you keep your relationships like did you have a social life I, I had barely any time to talk to people. I mainly kept to myself and tried providing for the kids the best as I could. And I was just didn't like going out because of the way my mother abused alcohol. So going to parties and drinking wasn't my thing. So I was really kind of lonely. So I'm gonna talk about your killings. What did you do in your first murder? Well, I looked for a helpless person and actually, it's kind of strange. Me and my friend, we would um, begin, we would get white nurse outfits and we would fake our passes and we would go into the elderly homes where they're taking care of them and we would find the ones who are lonely and 60 and above because they're more helpless and they, have, they don't know what's going on. So we would go in and we would murder them and then go to their house and take like an item, like a religious item or something like that. Okay, so what was your motivation? My motivation, it was just kind of to help provide for my family and get money for them and to get rid of all like my anger from my past abusive relationships with my family and from my mom who was a terrible alcoholic and she just treated me terribly and I was neglected my whole life so I guess I kind of just took it out on the elderly woman. Alright so how many people did you admit to murdering? I... Okay so how many people have you killed? I admit to killing 16 elderly women. Okay so what was your signature that you left behind at the scene of the crime? I would grab any item I could find and I would strangle them until they wouldn't breathe anymore and then I would just leave them there and you could see the strangle marks around them and it was an elderly woman so they knew it was the same person who would just go in and kill the helpless people and then rob their houses. So how were you eventually captured? Well, I wasn't very cautious with the stuff that I left behind. I left many fingerprints because I didn't wear any gloves. I didn't see a reason until now when I realized that the police could use those fingerprints to trace them back to me. And that's how they eventually found out that I was the one committing the murders. So, what is it? Did you stand trial? Did you stand, did you stand trial or did you give a plea bargain? 
I eventually went to court and I admitted to 16 murders and I got sentenced to 729 years in prison and now I'm just kind of sitting here in prison thinking about what I did. Thank you. You're welcome. Nice. It wasn't really nice talking about this.